Hello, beautiful souls. So as promised, in this reading, we are going to be tuning into the energy of the divine feminines in the Twin Flame Collective. So if you would like to check out the energy where we tune into the divine masculine, the previous reading for that is already posted. It came out about eight hours ago, so you can explore that on my channel as well. But in this video, we are focusing on the divine feminine and what you as a divine feminine may need to know about the powerful beneath the surface energetic shifts and changes taking place within you. But before we get into that, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This allows me to pick up on your energy more easily in this reading as well as in future reading videos. Okay, so let's begin right at the root chakra, the base of the spine. What is happening for the divine feminines at the root chakra? Okay, we have door to value in the reversed position. Sometimes the root chakra can actually connect with family patterns, family dynamics, our upbringing, and in this case, I'm feeling for you, Divine Feminine, a big focus for many feminines at this time is really shifting a belief system that runs within their family about how they derive their sense of worth and value. Because I'm picking up that many Divine Feminines I'm listening to, I'm tuning into in this reading come from a family line where they may have been taught to derive their worth or value from what they do, what they achieve. You may have even been someone who considered yourself to be an overachiever as a child, academically going through school, and this may have translated into the workplace as well, achieving simply for the sake of being seen as worthy and valid because I'm getting that in your family's line. Someone I'm picking up on here, a lot of the worth and value that family members would derive for themselves would actually come from how other people were perceiving how hard they were working or how much they were doing. And you are learning an entirely different way of being. You are learning flow state manifestation. You are discovering that you have the power to create worlds within you and at your fingertips. You are realizing that energy is more powerful than action alone and that when you create the vision, when you line up the energy in the mental realm, you can then take action in alignment with divine inspiration, that flow state action that's actually thousands of times more powerful and effective than action alone. You are also discovering that your true value, the true gift you have to give to the world is your open heart. And I just felt this wave of chills coming from the heart chakra card in the upright position because in fact, in the past, Divine Feminine, you may have found or felt that your open heart actually inhibited you from being able to achieve in the ways other people wanted you to. So for some reason, I'm seeing someone who couldn't pursue certain career paths. This is so specific, but someone couldn't pursue certain career paths that would have brought a lot of material success or financial success because their heart wouldn't let them do it because they they either felt pulled to something where they would be sharing their true gifts of love with the world or they felt that in doing that thing or that career that would bring a lot of material success they would somehow be needing to close off their hearts in some way and they couldn't make themselves do it and 
you may have had other people in your life judge you for some of these decisions, these powerful decisions to live fiercely with an open heart, to stubbornly keep your heart open in a world where so many others would try to convince you to close your heart simply to succeed in some material ego-based sense. Now, ironically, what you're really discovering is that the more you step into your power with goddess of the moon reversed and appreciation reversed, the more you step into your true value, your true power, which comes from that energy, that essence within you, that heart openness, you actually are going to manifest with financial constraints reversed. Ironically, there is more abundance coming to you and through you than any of your family members have ever, ever seen. I keep hearing that you are destined to actually be the most abundant and even traditionally successful person in your family. It's just that you are going a different route about it. Again, take this as it connects with you. I'm speaking to those of you who have this intention for this particular type of abundance in terms of material wealth or success. Of course, we all define success in different ways, but whatever success and accomplishment looks like for you, it's almost like the universe is asking you to trust fall backwards and to believe that when you keep your heart open, and you continue forging a path in this new way of flow state manifestation, trusting yourself, trusting the universe. Although at times you might feel judged when temporarily it may look like other people are experiencing more material success or abundance or whatever the case is, you actually are showing a higher way, a better way where truly unlimited potential is available to you. There is nothing off limits to you. And with goddess of the moon and appreciation reversed, both of these cards are sitting on the third eye chakra. And I see that you are just being inundated almost constantly with these higher level spiritual and energetic downloads and upgrades coming through the third eye chakra related to where your true value lies, where your true gifts are, how powerful you truly are, and also potentially related to people in your life who may have been incapable of seeing your true worth or seeing your true power. And in those situations with anxiety reversed, I'm hearing you no longer care. You don't care if someone can't see you or someone can't hear you you no longer question the value of what you have to say or of what you are just because someone else can't see the value in it. And this is a major, major breakthrough for you, Divine Feminine. And it's almost like you've had a personality transplant or this is how it's beginning to look to people around you. You may have gone through this massive upgrade in confidence recently. If not, this is something that is absolutely in progress for you. You're no longer seeking the same kind of external validation from other people and divinely speaking on the crown chakra, the strongest and the singular message coming through your crown chakra, your connection to the divine, to your spirit guides, your higher self, whatever divine forces you personally connect with. The message here is you are on the right path that is just repeating over and over again. It's kind of funny for the divine masculine in keeping with traditional masculine energy. We went in a very linear fashion from the root sequentially all the way up to the crown chakra. But for the divine feminine in keeping with that flow state feminine energy, we're jumping all over the place. So we've covered the root chakra, the heart, the third eye, and the crown. Let's see what else is going to come through for you Okay, so we have journey in the reverse position, and I really feel this on the solar plexus chakra. So you are learning again how to no longer seek that external validation. You are finding a home within yourself. You are learning how to create an energy of peace, of harmony within your being, within your life. I keep seeing something about the gut, the solar plexus region. You may be someone who 
has gotten stomach aches related to anxiety in the past or just felt this uneasiness in your solar plexus in the past. And I feel this is something being healed at this time. You are really creating this strong core, literally at the core, the solar plexus of your being that is sustaining you moving into this great power you are coming into some of you literally may be strengthening your actual physical core your abdominal muscles through yoga or something along those lines but i'm just getting that for a small group of people here this also could be again very symbolic of the energetic core within yourself you are strengthening and stabilizing and again, this is allowing you to feel a really deep and authentic sense of confidence. Now we have door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse position. And I really feel this on the sacral chakra. So there may be some in your life, romantically, intimately speaking, who you are realizing have to do individual healing work on their own and you may have had to set boundaries with these people you are no longer over self-sacrificing giving away your peace to these people and situations who you now realize need to do their own emotional healing work because with storm warning in the upright position you are now very in tune with your intuition and part of this intuition is felt through your physical body part of it is felt through your emotions but the key here is that alarm bells kind of warning signs feeling that you get physically or emotionally when you're connecting with someone who is presenting themselves to be unhealed or to be unsafe or very unconscious Regardless of what soul bond you may have with that other person, regardless of the circumstances, you are learning how to have the level of self-support that, that allows you to create strong boundaries here in the sacral chakra to say, I am not going to leak out my creative energy because again, the sacral is also the seat of creativity. I'm not going to leak my creative energy or my sensual or emotional energy to those who are not willing to do that healing work within themselves or who are bringing up these feelings of uneasiness within me and potentially trying to steal my peace. And instead, this energy that may have once been leaked out to other people is now being turned inward and as it's being poured inward it's creating this really highly magnetic force field around you and also allowing you to create more freely and to put more of that emotionality that used to be going to these others into your work into your art into whatever your life's work is and here we have the solar plexus chakra sitting on the throat so what this tells me is you are learning to connect your throat chakra activation with your solar plexus chakra activation so essentially you are both speaking your truth and doing so with balanced authentic core deep confidence in the past you may have been able to do one or the other so you may have felt confident but kept silent or alternatively you may have spoken your truth but felt really shaky about it felt your confidence shaking but now there is this really deep integration of the solar plexus and the throat chakra where you are learning how to mutually support both speaking your truth and also doing so with that strong deep foundation of confidence so i'm going to pull a final spirit guide message from the star seed oracle deck but first divine feminines if you are resonating with this reading i feel guided to share with you my subliminal for the awakened divine feminine this subliminal is designed to really align you with your true power to uproot and rewrite any limiting beliefs keeping you from embodying that true goddess energy that true empowered fully activated magnetic being that you are 
So this subliminal comes from my website, soundandsoulful.com. As you can see on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence, happiness, anxiety relief, for love, relationships, energy clearing, and so much more. And when you sign up for a seven-day free trial account on my site, you can try out any subliminal I've created and even create your own custom private playlists completely free for seven days. And all of the information on that is under the video. And I will be leaving a link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal specifically in the pinned comment and description box. Okay, so we have the void, deep cellular healing, and karmic relationships. Now, this karmic relationships card says polarity and soul growth, but also conflict. And I'm hearing that through polarity, you are experiencing immense soul growth. So what I'm getting for some divine feminines here is that your powerful energy you are coming to, stepping into, might actually be very polarizing to people who are around you. They might be accustomed to seeing you in a less empowered or less confident state of being. And I'm hearing this message of allow yourself to be polarizing because anyone with your level of power, with your level of magnetism, just like a magnet equally can magnetize to it, but also on the other end of the magnet, it can repel away from it. You are like that magnet. You are someone who is going to really begin to strongly attract things that are in resonance with your high level frequency of abundance, of joy, of peace. But at the same time, you are going to be equally repelling anything that is out of resonance with those kind of essences, those soul values. And that confidence you are solidifying within yourself is allowing that repelling process to be just as okay, just as right as the attraction process. Now, the deep cellular healing card in the void speaks to the fact that some of you well, some of you may literally be entering the season of winter. It might be getting colder where you live, depending on where you are on the planet. But also this can speak to things in your life at times seeming to be a bit like being in a void. You might feel a bit isolated from other people at times. You might feel like you're in your little beautiful, peaceful, creative space, but not really having a lot grounded yet fully manifested yet in your life to hold on to. And I feel that if that's the case for you, your guides are saying, know that through this void, there is a deep transformation. What this card is calling a deep cellular healing taking place in your being, solidifying all of the energetic changes we've been channeling in this reading to provide that foundation, that jumping off point to take you to that quantum leap of a next level. So I hope this reading helped you in some way. And if you did receive a message from the reading today, I would love to hear from you in the comments under the video. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. And of course, the link to the awakened divine feminine subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. I am sending you so much love, have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you again in the next video.